Do you know what you're worth right now as a reseller? Or maybe what are you capable of being worth? And that's something that I had to really think about today because I had an opportunity to maybe do something different than reselling. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And as I mentioned on the other side of the intro, uh, today I, I actually did have an interview. I had a job interview. And uh, this morning, or even at the time we did the live stream, I didn't even think about anything like that or anything like that was gonna happen. So what happened is I came across the post. Um, I'm an avid bowler, as many of you guys know. And there was a post um, for a position in the bowling industry, at least temporarily through the end of July out here. And I wanted to know more about it. It intrigued me. You know, as I mentioned in the live stream, I think we talked about this in the live stream. We want to go back and check it out. Um, my thought was, and I said something to the effect of if an opportunity ever arises, um, you know, I'm going to do what's best for my current situation. Now, I'm not complaining about my current situation. Uh, I mean, there's lots to be desired. I mean, I have a good YouTube channel, I have a great audience like you guys, but um, there's things going on in my business that make me really kind of wonder. And, you know, this is a short-term uh, opportunity that I, that I had, and I uh, thought it was kind of cool. And I'm not gonna get into the specifics of it, um, but I had an interview over the phone today. And in fact, what came of it was I simply reached out to the person that was looking for help in this, in the bowling industry. And I reached out and said, Hey, um, interested in knowing more, like, you know, the specifics of the position, what it is and how much it makes and this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, I got a message back about an hour later and, uh, I got a phone call shortly thereafter and the, he wanted to interview me and, and he did. And of course he did explain what the position entailed. I, I think it would have been a really cool gig. Um, however, he, he stated the money was like, at, when it was all said and done, it was gonna be like $17 an hour and you can be part-time or full-time or whatnot. Um, but for me, you know, I had to ask the, the, the questions, what's the pay look like? What's exactly um, being done? What's the actual responsibilities and things like that? The job sounded fun, but the pay sort of made me kind of hesitant and quite hesitant to be, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and that really made me think, you know, during this, and I went through the whole interview and everything, um, and I thought I did pretty well, not being prepared to even <laughs> go through a phone interview. But uh, it made me think, you know, what is what is your worth? What are you worth? You know, when I was working in my career um, for 26 years, um, I ended. I think I was making seventy-four thousand five hundred dollars a year in my salaried position. And of course, there's room for growth. I mean, every year you get a uh, review, uh, you get like two, three, four percent increase in pay based on your performance during the prior year. As many of you guys know my story, I didn't leave that job um, because I wanted to. Uh, it was a situation where you step down from management, you you know go to our other facility 3,000 miles away on the East Coast, um, total culture shock, no family and no friends, and uh, you're gonna take a pay cut. That's just not the risk that we wanted to take. And thus we went to reselling. Now, in hindsight, I don't regret the decision. I feel bad we were forced to make that decision. Um, you know, I was looking forward to finishing my career with that company, uh, fulfilling uh, my 30 years with that company, which would have allowed me to retire at the age of 60. Now, because I didn't fulfill that, I had four more years to go with them um, with railroad retirement. 
Um, I have to retire now at 67. So I'm quite a few years away from that. And um, I simply won't be able to tap into those funds, the money that I've accumulated until that time. So of course, now I'm dealing with the same situation that many of you guys are, is just trying to find a way to make it work and know what your future is going to look like. Now, uh, it's no surprise to you guys, I've been struggling with sourcing. It's been a very real thing. It's not just me getting up in front of the camera and complaining to you guys. It's a real issue that I'm dealing with. It's a real concern. Um, of course, we have some goods here. Uh, we're still listing every day, um, but there's going to come a day here in the next, I'd say, week or so where I'm going to run out and I'm really looking for things to sell. So that's been in the back of my mind. And so when an opportunity like this comes up, it's certainly going to uh, be interesting to me. But uh, I had to really think about it. I had to think, of course, I wasn't going to give up my reselling business. Of course, that was going to continue. I mean, provided we find more sourcing. And that would have fallen into Jenna's lap. And uh, while she's very capable of doing this business every day, um, I didn't want to put um, everything I do on her shoulders. You really have to have a drive to do this business. And as someone said earlier in the live stream, this business isn't for everyone. And that's true. Um, you know, while I think she can do a capable job, um, I just don't think that she would be as willing to go through all the steps that maybe I wouldn't be able to do if I was absent from, you know, doing something else, you know, commuting, uh, you know, working eight hours, maybe 10 hours a day and, uh, being gone 10, 11 hours a day, potentially, um, don't think that she would want to, to deal with the sourcing aspect of it. She's never done that part of the business. I don't think she'd want to do a lot of the, just the other stuff that's involved with the business. And plus, you know, what am I going to talk about on this channel? Of course, I don't want to give that up. I really enjoy what I do talking to you guys and, and making these videos. So, um, that combined with the fact that, um, what, what am I worth? You know, that's sort of what I asked you at the beginning of the video. What are you worth? Um, have you looked at your um, your gross income? Uh, do you have an idea of what your margins are? You know, at the end of the day, I can say I'm anywhere between 40 and 60% margin. So if I'm operating, let's say at a 50% margin and margin would be um, after your expenses. So after your cost of goods, after your shipping expenses and after um, your taxes that you should be taking out and putting aside, what are you worth? Now we can take the taxes out for a second because um, when you go work at a full-time job, um, let's say you make $20 an hour, well, that's before taxes. So if we're trying to compare uh, uh, you know, apples to oranges, you know, even though they're different, reselling in a full-time job, we have to sort of put the parameters um, somewhat similar. So in this case, your cost of goods and your, your shipping, your eBay fees, and forget taxes for now, okay? So let's say that puts you at a 60% margin. Well, I made, uh, I believe it was $130,000 last year between two eBay accounts. And that's just on the eBay side of things. So counting that, uh, I'm like at $70,000. And that's, um, of course, paying taxes on all that, which was fun. Um, puts me down, you know, $70,000 minus taxes. Now, what that means to me, if you work a full-time job, 2,080 hours in a 52-week year, um, that's putting me at like, I mean, I'm just kind of guessing here, 26, 27, 28 dollars an hour. Um, of course, there's days that I work more than eight hours and there's days that I work less, right? But uh, I'm not getting a job anytime soon. The, the market's just not there um, anytime soon in the area that I'm in. Um, the location that I'm in, uh, that's going to offer me, uh, you know, $30, 30 something dollars an hour that I was making at my last career. If you boil it down, it was 30 something dollars an hour. Um, of course it's based on a 40 hour work week. It's all salary. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, but I was only putting in 40 hours anyway per week. Um, with eBay, I don't take days off. I take time off. So I'm probably working more than 40 hours a week. But let's just say an eight-hour workday. Um, 
I'm making 26, 27, $28 an hour based on the last year and the year before. Maybe not on track so much this year, but hopefully we're going to turn that around. But, uh, you know, what kind of job would you need to replace reselling if you're doing fairly well? Um, and that's kind of what you need to consider. And even really what you need to consider if you have a full-time job and you're thinking about doing this uh, instead or replacing your current income. One thing you have to realize is when you're first starting out in this business, you're not going to make $25 plus dollars an hour. Um, it's going to take some time. It's going to take sourcing. It's going to take learning the ins and outs. It's going to take that time you trip over yourself, learning the ins and outs of reselling and how to make it work for you um, before you really know that, which is why I always tell people, start reselling on a part-time basis and don't quit your day job until you have it lined up. And once you have it lined up, you know, ask yourself, what are you worth? And that's, that's a question that I think it's a fair one to ask. I think that most resellers, um, if you do it right, if you have the right kind of product, um, can probably say that their eBay career is worth more than a $17 per hour job. And that's what I was faced with today. Um, you know, I'm thankful that they gave me the opportunity. They spent the time with me today and we had good conversations. Uh, they had uh, a lot of questions to ask me. And I really think that I would have been a good fit for what they were looking for, but um, for me, it would have caused more havoc. Uh, and I think that I would have been maybe losing in the long run because I'm still hopeful that I can correct some of the problems that I'm dealing with here, um, uh, on the eBay side of things. And once I do, um, a lot of my problems currently, um, won't even be an issue anymore. So yeah, I thought I would share that with you. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there are have uh, thought about maybe doing this full time. Maybe you've already made the jump and maybe that is maybe scaring you quite a bit. Um, and, and I guess if you're not making sales, it should. You really have to take the time to consider what any kind of change would do for you, whether that's changing from your full time job to full time reselling or what I considered to do today from my full-time reselling to a full-time job, even though it was on a temporary basis. Um, sometimes you can bite off more than you can chew. And I really think, well, we probably could have made this work. I think it would have been biting off more than either I or Jenna could, could even think about doing. Uh, and so I'm happy to say that, that I did send a message uh, thanking them for the opportunity, something I would consider in the future. Uh, you just never know what the future is going to hold. I told them that it's just not feasible for me at this time, given what I'm already doing. Uh, and it's just not, uh, the timing wasn't there. It doesn't matter what you like. I'm sure that if you had the opportunity to do something in whatever that is, you would take the uh, at least the thought of seeing how that would affect your current situation. For me, it would affect my current situation um, a little too much. It would it would cause a little bit of havoc to what we're currently doing. And of course, it would, it would hurt this channel. And it's something I really worked hard and built, and I just am not ready to give it up at this time. So guys, what do you think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on that. Have you encountered a similar situation like what I've described, either uh, leaving your full-time job to go full-time reselling or uh, just saying, you know what, I'm done with full-time reselling. It's time to get a job. And have you really focused on what your worth is? What is your actual worth? What are you capable of making as a reseller full-time versus at any random job that you can go out and get? And if you consider all the intangibles, uh, the cost of gas, the time commuting, um, the time away from your family, the lack of flexibility that a full-time job would give you versus what you have right now as a reseller, being your own boss, setting your own schedule, um, working however you want to work without anyone breathing down your, your back. 
there's no amount of money you can even attach to that because your stress levels when you're working for yourself is much different than when you're trying to meet someone else's expectations. So guys, do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that notification bell. So when I go live like I did uh, on Wednesday, uh, you're gonna be notified and hopefully be part of it. We had a pretty good live stream on Wednesday and I'm hoping the next one's gonna be even better. But uh, you know, just knowing how much you're worth, it's uh, just another example of how flippin' ain't easy. And I want you guys to have a great rest of your day and we will talk to you very soon.